Hey, Tony, it's Friday. And first off, to answer your question of the week, I can't really think of any presentations that I that I did better than I expected on because generally on my presentations, I did about where I expected. So I don't really have a good answer on that one. So I'm sorry. There are times where I did worse on a, worse on a presentation or a project than I thought I did, but even those have been pretty few and far between. So it's been a day. <laughs> it's It's been a really, really long day. That's a first sport. So this is this is going to be a, re a relatively short video that's probably not going to be super targeted. <clears throat> because... Except to the city of Springfield. Yeah, except to the city of Springfield, which... So, for context as to why it's been a day. Now, first off, it, it's been a week. It's been a really stressful week at work. We were missing two of our people. Uh, yesterday, I actually started to get a little overwhelmed with uh, just... Aha! Okay, Justice found something he was looking for. Um, but uh, yesterday I got overwhelmed at work for like the first time in a long time because there was just so much stuff for me to do. And I just, it was not not a fun experience. And like I said, it's just been a really long, stressful week. But today was really the icing on the cake. So um, I've mentioned before some of the issues with towing in the city of Springfield. Well, today was one of those days. Now, one thing that Springfield has that tell that I've gotten used to, but I know they don't have in Ohio, are parking bans. Basically what a parking ban is, is saying you can't park on this side of the street so the plows can go in. It's usually done before snowstorms or during snowstorms when there's a lot of snow on the ground or a lot of snow on the roads. Well, this week... Oh, I have food for you in the car. Um, this week, we ended, uh, particularly last night, apparently we were still under a parking ban. And so all of our cars that were parked were towed. And this was a lot of cars. Like there was, when we were at, we, we were at the tow place, there were about 20 more, 20 or so people like, cause I had to go there a couple times. There were about 20 people or so who got their vehicles towed this week, just this weekend. And it got so bad that like when we walked in there, the place that was towing was like, oh, are you here for the parking ban too? And yeah, so it was a really terrible way to start the day. Now, Tony and I have lived here for years. We've never had our vehicles towed because usually... So a couple things have to go into place for a parking ban. One, it has to be all. It has to be on the news. It has to be on the Springfield Parking Authority website. And they're supposed to have flashing lights that war at every busy intersection that warn you when a parking ban is. Well, we live at a really busy intersection. We actually, we live at two, like right in between two. And none of the lights were on. There were a lot of cars parked on both sides of the street, and we haven't had snow for a few days, so we were all under the assumption that, oh, the parking ban was over. Apparently not. Also, fun fact, only um, the cars closer to our side of Fort Pleasant got towed, not the other side. Yeah, so... Yeah, they didn't even tow the entire street. Yeah, they, they just towed. Like, there are a lot of reasons as to why I thought they... I, I think they towed this time. For one... Now we weren't we weren't impeding any snow removal at all. Like our that street that we park on was totally plowed, like totally totally clear. But there are a couple things now. Spring let me for a little back background on Springfield. Springfield police have a pretty bad reputation, and CJ's Towing, who does who does their who does all their towing services, also have a pretty bad reputation. Mm -hmm. Springfield itself has one of the highest rates of civil rights violations within the police force. They're called 1983 violations, which I can go into in another video. But basically, it's if a organization working under the color of state title violates civil rights in some way, shape, or form, a lawsuit gets, gets, can get brought up, and it's, it's called a 1983 violation, because that, that's the Massachusetts, that's the federal section, is section 1983. Again, I can do a whole video on that at some other point, but that's not what I'm into right now. <laughs> but... Like, Springfield has a pretty bad reputation in that regard. And I kind of have a theory as to why our area got towed, where there were people parking on both sides of the street all over the city. Like, I drove past several different groups, people who had snow on, on their cars from from a while ago that hadn't been towed. Looking and at Long Hill. Yeah, looking at Long Hill, looking at a lot of other streets. Looking at yeah, but the reason why I think that happened is kind of twofold. One... The street that we park on is fairly wide. It's not super busy. And there's usually a lot of spots for people to park. 
Well, what I'm willing to bet is, especially towards the end of the year, Springfield needs to make some money. Uh, the parking service needs to make some money. So they use kind of an arbitrary parking ban to start towing a lot, a lot of groups, a lot of people. And our street in particular was targeted because it was wide, because it was clear, and because it was be pretty easy to get a tow truck in there to get, say, 12, 20 cars. And because a lot of the people who park there need their cars to get to and from work. Yeah. That's kind, of, that's kind of the other thing is where we live, it's – so in a lot of the nice historical houses, house districts that are like a lot of the big houses that cost a lot of money, there wasn't – they didn't tow. They pretty much only towed up by where the apartments are. My reason thinking – my thinking for that is also kind of twofold. So when you live in an apartment, it means you generally don't have the money to buy a house which means you don't necessarily have the same equity that you would elsewhere. And a lot of those people have only, you know, one, maybe two cars, and they use them to get to work. And if they miss work, they miss a paycheck, and they can lose their homes. So there's a real, there's a real incentive to get your car immediately. Well, to basically do one of two things. Either get your car immediately, in which you have to pay them $250 to get it out, or it stays there for a while, and they can just until you get paid again, and they can just keep racking it up. You have to pay a thousand bucks for a week. Exactly, and so I think that was kind of a twofold way that the city and and the towing company went through to kind of uh, try and make a little a little bit more money before the year ends, because I'm sure they have quotas that they need to meet, much like every organization, law enforcement organization does. So I, I think this was kind of their their excuse to do it because there were a lot of places that didn't have the same issue. It was really like only a handful of streets were targeted, which already raises my suspicions. We also live in an area that's considerably diverse than other areas, which to kind of go in with the bad reputation of the police, I wouldn't be shocked if that was a reason as well. Now, all of this is very much speculation and we will never really know what happened or why they targeted us, but it's some things that are kind of suspicious. Now, it's been a week, and it's going to be a weekend. So Justice and I are actually heading to Rochester, New York, for an Amped Guard event. Uh, Taylor's going to be staying home because she has to work tomorrow, which is unfortunate. Especially because tomorrow is Taylor and I's uh, sixth anniversary of when we first started dating way back when. So it's a little unfortunate Taylor couldn't come, but we should have a pretty good time. Someone who I think very highly of is going to be getting knighted, so I'm really excited to see her see that happen because she very much deserves it. But otherwise, it's it's going to be a pretty it's going to be a pretty long weekend, pretty busy weekend. So Tony, my question for you is: Is there any like uh, bad reputations you know of uh, the police in your area? Tony, I'll see you on Tuesday. Later, bro.